Hi, and welcome to the next episode of Belly to Belly. And today we're here to talk about Select USA preparation, and we're joined by our great friend, David Rose from US Expansion Partners. Welcome, David. Hey, Bill, ahoy, good to see you. Uh, ahoy, it's great to see you as well. So it, our goal today is really to talk about um, Select USA and particularly you know, thinking of companies coming to Select USA and planning their visit. We want to give them as, as many tools as possible and certainly having you aboard. We also want to introduce them to a great resource that they may want to have pre-contact with before they come. As you know, getting the most out of the event usually means, you know, how, how do we set it up so that we're in more in-depth conversations when we actually arrive there? And sometimes that takes a preliminary conversation or two to really get the most out of it. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll go through kind of a, a couple of items, but the first thing is really we want to give the companies a good sense of of US expansion partners and what you do to particularly help companies uh, coming into the US. Can you give kind of a, a bit of an overview? Yeah, I mean, I think the easiest way to think about kind of our mission at US expansion partners, when companies look to come to the US and expand here in this market for the first time, they typically think that the starting point for that journey is we're gonna hire a sales rep. And what they don't really realize is there's probably 36 steps you have to take before you can actually hire that person and another dozen things you have to be able to do before you can actually invoice a customer and generate revenue. So the easiest, thing, easiest way to think about what we do is we handle all those steps from to get you launched all the way to get revenue as quickly as possible. It's the easiest way to think about it. So you don't have to learn all those steps. We know what they are and we help you get you there as quickly as, as we can. Cool, and you're partic you particularly specialize in, uh, I know tech companies, but do you want to define that a little bit more? Well, um, so I've done five venture back tech startups. Personally, I'm a three-time tech CEO. So obviously we have a uh, pretty deep, do uh, deep domain expertise in the tech sector. Um, and, um, but we also have um, a, a life sciences company from Korea that we work with. And so we essentially have two service offerings. One is what we call country manager. We basically handle all the operations and finance and compliance for the companies. And then we have some scale up services. What we find is the country manager type of services are really ubiquitous. It doesn't really matter what the industry is versus kind of the, the uh, scale up services are, are pretty uh, tech specific, venture back tech specific and wouldn't be applicable for say advanced manufacturing or, or biotechnology. Right. So really it, it, it's a, a diverse set of, of uh, types of companies that that you can work with. Um, yeah, that's great. So it it it, it sounds like um, companies that are launching, you're really a first stop and can help them figure out the roadmap to first customer. Um, is that a good yeah, summary? I mean, yeah, a pretty good way to do it. Or you know, another way to think about it is you could probably come and talk to you know dozens of experts and partners and service providers who can give you advice on what to do and kind of point you in the right direction. You may get conflicting advice or um, instruction. So this would be like a one-stop shop. You come to us and we're going to help you guide you through the entire process. And we're going to bring in other partners for specific needs, but we will one point of contact to get you through uh, a successful U.S. launch. That's brilliant. Cool. So uh, we met at Select USA last year um, and certainly companies that are, are coming or thinking about coming, um, it would be great for them to hear what, why do you value Select USA? What is it about the event that's particularly important for you? Well, it, it was. Uh, this will be my third year going. Um, it's a fantastic event. I've did, did several events this past year, and Select USA, I think, is one of the most valuable ones I've been to in the world. So definitely going to prioritize it, definitely going to be there. I found it super helpful getting to meet uh, essentially people in the ecosystem, right, who are able to add value and help companies come in here in all kinds of different ways, whether that be in site selection or whether that be in event marketing or whether that be in legal or accounting all the kind of ecosystem of people who are available to help are all there as well as all 50 states are there so you can learn about what are the advantages of, of setting up uh, operations in different states and government officials and government programs to help companies when they come here so it's a really great event really well organized there's really a, really a lot of good content and a lot of good people and just a really good use of time and you know in just around three days you're getting a lot done and meet probably everyone you get you need to meet in, in that kind of setting yeah, no, it's it's funny, and you know, just as you were talking to, I'm thinking about, you know, gosh, it, you know, it could be twice as long, uh, and you could, you know, you still wouldn't be done, really, right? I mean, it's it's that it's that kind of an event, which which really leads us into the third question, which is around preparation and and sort of thinking about companies that are coming, and and 
to give some context, you know, there are companies that are there that, you know, already have U.S. operations and are looking to sort of, you know, take those, you know, expand those further to additional regions or states or whatever. And so they have reasonable U.S. familiarity. And then there are others maybe are, that are on the earlier stage that this is not only their first time to select USA, but their first visit to the U.S. And so when you think about um, how to uh, how to prepare for Select USA? Are, are there certain um, things that you would suggest to companies, both in terms of taking advantage of the event itself, and then and then also potentially to taking advantage of their their U.S. visit? Well, I think the first thing I would say is don't wait to the first day to try and figure that out. I mean, there are thousands and thousands of really uh, experienced and smart people who can help, and so doing some prep work ahead of time will really get you, um, let, allow you to maximize your time when you're actually um, in Washington, D.C. for the event. And so there's actually a tool, I don't know if you talked about this before, but there's actually a tool, once you are signed up and you create a profile, you can go in and see everyone else who's coming, right? And so you can look and see, um, you can sort it by industry, by time, all those kind of things. And so you can schedule pre-meetings, um, schedule meetings with people long before you ever come. And if you're really savvy, if you really want to work at it, you find out the people you really want to meet with and try and schedule a meeting with them beforehand. So when you actually meet with them when you're in in, um, in the States for Select USA Investment Summit, you're actually getting to, getting not getting to know someone for the first time, but actually you know getting your objectives met and learning what you came to learn. So I think doing pre-work, booking pre-meetings goes a long way. And look, if you're coming to the U.S. for the event from overseas, it probably be a great opportunity while you're already here. I mean, in the Washington D.C. area, you're close to New York. You go close to Virginia. You're, it's kind of central here on the East Coast of the U.S. Go see some potential customers. Go see some existing customers, or go see some potential partners or distributors, or some existing partners or distributors, and use that time here to really build some in-person relationships that really go a long way and really kind of help propel your business into the future. Um, doing face-to-face, -face. or belly-to-belly, wow. -belly, maybe is a better term. <laughs> You know, uh, it's all belly to belly, really. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that, that's perfect advice. The, it's certainly the idea of uh, pre-setting meetings, and that's really the impetus of, of these conversations is to introduce the Select USA attendees, the, the audience coming this year, to great resources so that um, we create that early contact. We, You know, it's, it's nice that there's an app, but we don't, as attendees don't get access to that, I think it's till like two weeks before, or maybe maybe it's four weeks. But you know, heck, if we can if we can talk to people in January or February, um, and, and yeah, ultimately get some of those questions, those preliminary questions answered, um, it 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 really moves things uh, along much further faster. So, um, and, and, and I also say, Bill, I always. I've learned to try and pre-plan some of there's some talks I really want to go see, right? And some speakers, I try and pre pre-plan those and then block those on my calendar so I don't get over overlapping meetings. And that's hard to do because there's so much good content. But I would you once you really want to prioritize, I'll block those out on your calendar because you'll you know just start be getting be getting inbounds to have other meetings and you just want to schedule around those ones that are more important. Oh, that to totally makes sense. Um, no, this has been fantastic, David. I really appreciate um, you taking the time today. Uh, is there anything else that you think would be helpful for uh, companies coming across? Anything, uh, any parting words? Well, I would say, hey, come. I mean, it's a fantastic event and you get to meet lots of great people and doing prep work will really you get the most out of it. And um, I think the biggest step is, is to come and have that experience and and um, hear the speakers and meet the other companies in the area and meet the states. And it's a, it's a, it's a great way to learn about how to expand into the U.S. Cool. So we're going to put David's information in the description down below. Um, definitely encourage you to contact him. Uh, he's such an incredible resource. So please do that. Certainly let us know of your questions as well. But uh, David, it's, it's been an absolute pleasure uh, to chat with you today. And, and I can't wait to see you in June. Looking forward to it, Bill. Thanks for having me on. Oh, you bet. Thank you. Take care.